Well, I wanted to uh, start my presentation today by telling a story, and this is a true story. Years ago, I used to work for the Los Angeles Times, uh, which is in downtown Los Angeles, and it's catty corner from uh, Los Angeles City Hall. At lunchtime, I used to walk through the park surrounding City Hall to go eat. And oftentimes, standing at the corner was this gentleman. He was probably uh, somewhere in his 50s. He wore uh, just uh, polyester trousers usually, button-up shirt, rolled up sleeves, didn't have any hair, and he wore glasses and wore them down on his nose like this. And he had this book in his hand, this black book. And he would stand on the corner, I think, teaching. The interesting thing about this guy, other than this unusual communication style, <clears throat> was that he always had a styrofoam cup on his head. And the cup, it wasn't upside down like a hat. It was right side up like it had something in it. And the cup always stayed on his head. The wind didn't blow it off. It didn't come off when he rocked back and forth. I never did figure out how he kept that styrofoam cup on his head. So uh, he would day after day be on the corner with this black book in his hand and he'd be teaching or preaching or something and so he would kind of look like this while he was doing it. The only problem was that with all the traffic and background noise I couldn't understand a word he said. So it would be kind of like this. Blah, 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 blah. And he did this day after day. I mean, he must have been really committed to whatever he was doing, although I wasn't sure what he was doing. And I often wondered about this guy. I mean, does he know that none of us could understand anything he said? Did he care that no one could understand anything he said? Or did he feel like it was simply his responsibility to teach or preach or lecture or whatever he was doing? And so he was absolved and maybe it was everybody else's responsibility to understand? I never had the courage to go up to him and ask about this. So I want you to kind of keep this um, image in your mind during my presentation today because it's kind of a metaphor for me. And as an illustration of that metaphor, um, it, if, you, if I fast forward in my life several years, I had an experience when I was a junior medical student, and I've talked about this before, some of you may have heard me where I was with a team of doctors in the hospital and we were going from patient room to patient room to see all the patients that this team was caring for. And they would come into the room, talk to the patient some and leave and I would follow along. Well, it became really clear to me that a lot of the patients didn't understand a word they said. And in retrospect, they might as well have had styrofoam cups on their head. And then, I went back to one of the patients' room because I could, clear, could tell clearly they didn't understand. And I went back to that room and explained things very carefully to this family. And when I finished, they looked at me and they said, well, thank you very much, but could you tell us that in English? And, you know, darn, if I didn't have a styrofoam cup on my head, and I didn't even know it. <laughs>